All right, thanks a lot, Sam. As you mentioned, standing by with trainer Frank Antonacci and Frank, the Lindy Reserve on the board right now, one to five. He's a heavy favorite in here, no question. It does seem to be a drop in class for him. He draws nicely there to the inside. Yeah, you know, we uh, we sent them up to Canada because I'd been kind of trying to brave him up there at Plain Ridge. He'd gotten sick earlier in the season, so uh, he was really good over there. And we wanted to stretch his legs a little bit at Mohawk and uh, tried in 54 and really never got in the race. So this looks like a better spot for him. Fourth start back off a little bit of a layoff. Probably, uh, you know, appears he is going to be a, a short price and you're probably an aggressive attempt. Yeah, I would think so. You know, t I didn't really say much to Timmy. Timmy's driven him since he's a two-year-old. He knows him. So uh, it looks like he's in great shape right now and we should look for a good performance. And now we start off this pick four here, $10,000 guarantee. We had over 35000 in the pool last night. Race nine, the final leg of the pick four. It's a big field there. You've got the nine, Love and Lindy, uh, who actually takes a drop down in class tonight. She's been racing in Canada. You guys obviously think a bit about her. She's been in stakes company uh, some as well. Yeah, you know, she's been ultra consistent. The one day she had a bad day was uh, probably her biggest chance of a payday this year in the Simcoe. But uh, she came back in the bucket. Fortunately, she got in with Luff and Maven. Finished third to them, but really raced great. You know, she tried in 55 flat on a half herself, so that was a good performance. And uh, unfortunately, got the nine hole here, but you know, she's a she's a nice horse, and I think she should be fine. Well, no shame in finishing third behind those two. A big effort there she had at Delaware. Finally, race 12. We've talked to uh, several connections there. Maybe the most wide open division of the Bluegrass for the three year old Colts today. Everyone seems to think they have a shot at that one. You've got Appomattox in there. He's three to one on the morning line, one for 19 in his career, but pretty lands in a fairly comfortable spot, it seems. Yeah, you know, I think it's if you're going to pick one of the divisions to be in, that's going to be it. You know, we really like him. He's a big, strong horse. Uh, he's gotten much better from two to three. Um, we're going to make a bunch of changes today, and uh, we're, gonna, we're going for it. So, we're either, you know, it's, it's all or nothing here. We'll see what happens. Uh, best of luck with Appomattox. Finally, want to talk to you about the first crop of crazed. I was up at Buffalo earlier this year, New York Sire Stakes action, and the crazed first crop really caught my eye. Tirade Hanover, there's a ton of them out there. How do you feel about his first crop? Well, I'm, I'm very proud of him. You know, it's I'm a little, I'm probably a little biased, but uh, even being objective, you know, he really held his own with uh, with all those stallions up in New York. You know, I really think that uh, over the next couple of years, you're going to hear a lot about him. You know, they obviously did well in New York. You're going to see him, I think, step out in New York also. The great looking horses, and uh, I think he's got a real shot. You know, the day the Colts were there at Buffalo, actually, uh, he took the first two divisions. Tyrate Hanover was 1-9 to nine in the third division. He was actually interfered with in the first turn, or he would have had a complete sweep of the uh, New York Sire Stakes that day at Buffalo. And, uh, of course, Frank, a new father at the beginning of the year. Talk to us what that's been like. Big changes, I know. Oh, yeah, it's a life changer, but it's uh, it's been fantastic, all for the better. Great deal. Best of luck, Frank. I know you got a busy afternoon. We'll let you get back to it, and we'll send it back upstairs to you, Sam.